Hi, it's Miss Massey, and I'm going to show you how to browse for print books on the catalog. Um, so this year, we're going to start out reserving books through the catalog and browsing that way. Um, it'll just be a lot safer. There won't be a lot of people in the library touching everything. Um, we're taking a lot of care handling all of the items in the library. So um, this is how we're going to start the year. So there are two ways to two very easy ways to get to the catalog. One of them is that you can log into Clever, which is the web page that pops up when you open a Chromebook. Um, and when you log in, uh, you log in with your with your Google login. And right here, you should see a little button that says Atrium and it'll say HTHS Library Catalog. If you click on that, that'll open the catalog. Another easy way is to type read.trustfulcityschools.com into your address bar and then click display for the high school. So this is what the catalog should look like when you get there. And um, in a normal situation, you would see new items here. So when we get back to school and we start adding new books, you'll see all of the new things that we add. This featured um, list right here is uh, student recommendations. So I, you know, send out surveys to you guys and when you recommend books or people who add book reviews on the catalog, I will take those books and put them in this recommendations list right here. Um, and then you'll see what's coming, which means the, the um, records for those have been loaded in, but we haven't actually added the books yet. We haven't done all the processing yet. So those are books that are about to be added. And then what's hot is um, going to be anything that has been recently checked out in the last 30 days. So that's what would show up right there. Um, and over here on the left, you'll see some information about the 20 book challenge, the library app and the website. But for browsing purposes, these four book lists are a place you can look. Another way that you can look at things is to go to list. So this list tab has a collection of book lists that we've started creating. Um, we have assigned reading lists. So um, all of the books that are assigned in various classes. So dual enrollment, like their choice books. Um, AP English choice books and assigned reading, all of your grade level assigned reading. And um, then if you scroll down, you can see all of the different lists we have. So I have award winners, college and career, comics and graphic novels, all of the fiction genres. I'm, I've been making interest lists kind of based on what people tell me they're interested in seeing more of. So all you have to do is let me know and I'll create an interest list for whatever topic you're interested in. Um, recommendations from teachers, research topics. I'm, I'm pulling together lists of books that could help for research topics. All of our nonfiction subject areas. I just added this new books section where I'm going to add um, what books have been added to the library this year. As soon as we start adding new books for 2020-2021, um, I will put that list there. And then I've started creating lists of books that are in the library for the 20 book challenge. So I'm still working on some of this. There'll be some more teacher recommendations soon. There'll be some more um, 20 book challenge lists soon. I'll of course add to all of these lists as needed. So this is a really easy way and you can see what all of the list options are on the side. So if you were looking for teacher recommendations, you could just click recommendations and it will bring that up. So you don't have to scroll through the page. Um, let's say you are looking at something. So I'll look at fiction genres for a minute and you want an action and adventure book. If you click on that, it's going to pull up all of the books that are in that category. So um, you can scroll through and see which books are interesting to you. So you should be able to read the summary right there, but if you click on the title of a book, it will also give you more information. When you start scrolling down, it'll give you a longer summary. Um, some books will let you read a, an, an excerpt right here, which is really helpful in this situation. You can see more books by that author that are in our library. So these are all books that we have in our library by the same author. 
and it will give you books that are recommended because they're somehow related to the book you're looking at. So here are a bunch of related books that it's recommending. Um, some similar authors, so you could look at books by those authors. There's reader reviews on here. Um, these are not student reviews, these are just reader reviews. And um, there are tags down here, so if you want to look at books about superheroes, you can click on the superheroes tag and it will pull up any books that have the superheroes tag. So that's just kind of a neat thing about looking at those lists. There is in some of these, so I'll go to the 20 book challenge um, and I'll click first in a series because there is a way when you're looking at some of these lists that aren't genre lists to see the genres over here on the sidebar. So if you want to look for something for the 20 book challenge and you're looking for the first in a series option, um, you can come over here and look at where it says report class grouping. If you show all items, it will show you how many are in each category. So there are comics and graphic novels in here, lots of action adventure, lots of fantasy, lots of sci-fi, right? Those are the types of books that tend to have series books. Um, but there's also some mysteries, some romance, some realistic fiction. So you can choose what you're interested in. So if I choose sports fiction, it's only going to show me the books that are in the sports section that are series books. So it's showing me the first book in the crossover series, the first book in D Debo's High School Hoops, um, and the first blacktop book. So you can choose which one of those that you're interested in. Um, and that is pretty much how you can browse. You can, of course, search for anything that you know that you want to read. And you can also um, do some advanced searching to look for certain subjects. So if you were interested in, um, I don't know, World War II or something like that, you could search for that subject or you could search for the keyword World War II and it will search for books that mention that. So that's how you can browse within the catalog. Um, and hopefully these lists for the genres and the, and the nonfiction subjects will help with um, just sort of alphabetically browsing because it's essentially the same as browsing the shelf. Those books are going to be in alphabetical order. Um, and once you've picked something out, of course you can reserve it and there is another video that shows you how to reserve items. So this is how you browse within the catalog.